know where to speak up. <laughs> so now, who were some of your influences before you actually started acting? And did you ever get a chance to meet and work with Don DeLuise? I didn't meet Don DeLuise. I just enjoyed watching him. And the influences are probably my mom and dad, who were both actors when I was a kid. And they did small plays, and I go to the theater and watch them in the dramas that they do. They did uh, Shakespeare some. And uh, then my Sunday school teacher happened to be one of the big child agent in Hollywood. And she liked John and I, and she started representing us. We started getting commercials. And my dad was interested in fencing. We worked in a fencing cell called the Falcon School. And I learned to be a pretty good fencer. And when they started auditioning for Mickey Mouse, John and I went out there to audition and show them our special talent as fencers. And then my grandma went with us and she said, tell them how you sing, Johnny. And so Johnny went up and sang a Johnny Ray song that he practiced. And they said, okay, we like that. And John also could dance. So he became a full-time Mouseketeer and we did one episode where we did some fencing. Wow, and nice. I became an honorary Mouseketeer. Very nice. And so, uh, what was the first film that you appeared in, and did you get a chance to meet and work with Ann Miller? I didn't know Ann Miller. Uh, that's another story, but uh, the first film I remember was being an extra in Ten Tall Men when I was about six years old. And then we worked for a week on a film called The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T with Hans Conried and, uh, and uh, Ritter, what's his name, Darling. Anyway, I was one of the fingers there on a piano with about 500 other kids. And years later, I did a Donna Reed show in which I had a featured role with Hans Cogner. So we had a dialogue scene together. Uh, so yeah, Dr. Seuss, 5,000 Figures of Dr. T. I've heard of that one. Yes, that was uh, one of the first Dr. Seuss movies. Yeah. And so my last question is, what was the first television What was the first television show that you appeared on, and did you get a have you had a chance to meet and work with Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy Fallon, I don't know and haven't worked with, but uh, the first television shows were uh, probably live television shows. The one that I made me famous was called Child of Our Time. It was a Playhouse 90 and I got nominated for an Emmy in 1959. I worked with a great director on that show called George Roy Hill. And years later, I got to work with him again uh, behind the scenes on the making of Butch Cassidy and I became his associate producer and co-producer on nine films. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. Thank, thank you for allowing me to interview you. You're most welcome. I'm Bobby Crawford. That was me. Well, yeah, that was me doing Jane Joy Crawford at the uh, at the March at the gym April 2013 Los Angeles Hollywood Show.